Hollywood is like Bollywood, but more. The action is bigger, the musical numbers go way harder, and the stars are revered. At least as far as I can gather from the totally bonkers response to the RRR trailer being released in Indian theaters. Now let's see a Marvel movie top that. Oh, what a shot. I love it. Oh, what yes. a good payoff. So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. Well, actually, it's something that's in development over on the Tollywood side of things, and I figure we could, you know... Just grab the concept and remake it shot for shot, but with American actors? No. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a good idea. I like the idea you had. No, it's just, I feel like this could kind of be a global hit just on its own. Okay, so what's it called? It's called RRR. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly, except, no, it stands for Rise, Roar, Revolt. I kind of roared. Yeah, a little. Amazing. Strap in for the year's most eye-popping, crowd-pleasing spectacle that brings a joy to action filmmaking not seen since Stephen Chow or James Cameron that will have even the most jaded Hollywood moviegoer dancing in the aisles and rushing to catch up on at least 50 years of Tolly and Bollywood films to see what they've missed. <laughs> Happy Diwali, folks. I think I'm gonna like it here. We as Westerners tend to go, oh yeah, Indian movies are all those crazy, long musicals, but we rarely actually watch them. And I will be the first to admit that I really do not have much experience with Indian cinema. But whether you do or not, RRR is something you should know about and watch for two reasons. One, it is genuinely a major event in modern international cinema, and two, it absolutely rules. Like, this movie goes so hard. It is so fucking good that if you are able to see it and you choose not to, you are actively making the choice to live a worse life. In research for this, I found out that a lot of the most expensive non-English language films end up being either, like, soulless state propaganda or just flat out bad for some reason. I think it's often the case because once the film becomes too expensive, they evolve into something where the artistic value becomes more of an afterthought. But this mm -hmm. wasn't the case with RRR. This film's record-breaking $69 million budget was used to assemble a dream cast of actors who no other production could afford to have all in one place. There were thousands of stuntmen, VFX workers. This is the first Indian film to be shot on an Alexa LF, allowing them to shoot it in native 4K on the best type of digital camera the industry has right now. Kudos to the VFX artist on that shot. Every single time I see it, that little arc of the background rocket over Rom's head, just per mm. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, sometimes you're just like, you know what? Those Bezier curves just hit. Sometimes those <laughs> Bezier curves just hit different, and this is one of the shots where them Bezier curves just hit different. Whoever was placing them knew where it They knew them. exactly. Like, it's like a painting, dude. It, it was, they didn't even have to decide where the, they went. They were like, oh, this is where they belong. It wasn't three hours for me. I enjoyed every single minute of it. And when it ended, I was kind of like, I could go and watch that again. Yeah, I mean, it was well paced. It slowed down yeah. where it needed to slow down in order to give you a moment to breathe, in order to give you a moment to get to know characters. It wasn't just blitzing through the story. Yeah. I mean, it did not feel like a slow three hour film. Like, I love the Batman, but you feel that three hours. At sure. least I did. And I really, really like that film. This is three hours and 10 minutes. It's longer than ba the Batman, but it didn't feel like, it felt closer to two and a half hours yeah. for me. Just yeah. Just because the pace. The pacing you know, was it, really, yeah. really good. This movie, it was just, I, I was so in love with it. And I don't know why. It's so ridiculous. It's the most ridiculous movie I've ever seen. But it's so fun, dude. And I don't know if it's because we're deprived from what's going on in Hollywood or what, but I, I don't think it's that. I think this movie is just that good. Yes, it's ridiculous. Yes, it's over the top, but that's what works for it. As weird as it is to say, RRR works. And I need more of it. The film, the director, the actors will win. I think it'll be more like they get a lot of nods. I think editing, sound, uh, possibly adapted screenplay, original screenplay, you know, costuming, those kinds of design things, those things. Could, so you could easily see this film earning eight, ten nominations, and then winning a few, like four or five, something like that, but not these main ones.
That's my prediction. I think I think Hollywood can't ignore a film of this caliber, at least right now. I know there's a ton of other stuff. That we're wait, we're only halfway through the year. But when you think about Oscar caliber films, best films of the year, this film is number one. Maverick is number two. And then I have other films that are not Oscar caliber films. Triple R is a great movie that left me with the same positive, exhilarated feeling that I had after watching Top Gun Maverick. Yeah, it's very different from the kind of films we're used to over here, but maybe that's why it appealed to me so much. It's proof, as if you even needed it, that quality stories really are universal, that they can transcend time, cultural and even language barriers, unite us in our shared appreciation, and deliver just as much enjoyment to a drunken cynical asshole in Scotland as they do to audiences on the other side of the world in India. And to be honest, I think we could all do with a bit more of that from time to time. I could tell you exactly what happens in this entire movie and I still it's don't still think good. it would spoil your enjoyment yeah. of the experience of watching it. And I'm so glad that you're gonna get to yeah, see I can't it wait. in a it cinema. It makes me so happy. This is, and I, afterwards as well, like the instant it's done you want to i need to i need to get more people to watch this like this movie can bring about world peace <laughs>